Good morning, KSB. It's your friend, Miss B, with today's announcements. Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. It is National Maple Syrup Day. Maple syrup was first collected, processed, and used by indigenous peoples of North America. The practice was then adopted by European settlers who gradually refined production methods. In the 1970s, further refinements in syrup processing were made with technological advances. A maple syrup production farm is called a sugar bush or a sugar wood. The sap is boiled in a sugar house, which is also known as a sugar shack or a sugar shanty. Up until the 1930s, the United States led in maple syrup production. But now, Canada is the world's largest maple syrup producer. Vermont is the largest producer of maple syrup in the United States. It's Throwback Thursday. This week, Mr. Coffee dust off that old VCR again to bring you this Throwback Thursday fact. In 1989, The Simpsons debuted on Fox with the episode Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. The show quickly attracted big-name guest stars, including many musicians. Here is today's useless fun fact from Miss B's Fun Feudal Factoids. Did you know? Barbie and Ken broke up in 2004. But don't worry, friends. Mattel announced that they were getting back together on Valentine's Day of 2011. Now it's that time of the morning where we take a walk down memory lane to visit Mr. Reese's riveting historical rewind corner. On this day in 1903, the first airplane takes flight. Near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Orville and Wilbur Wright make the first successful flight in the history of self-propelled, heavier-than-air aircraft. Orville piloted the gasoline-powered propeller driven by a plane, which stayed aloft for 12 seconds and covered 120 feet on its inaugural flight. There are eight days until Christmas. Each day, we'll look at a fun fact about the holiday winter season. Did you know Clement Moore's poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas, introduced the names for Santa's eight reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, and Cupid, plus Dunner and Blixum, which were German words for thunder and lightning, and later evolved into Donner and Blitzen. Although most of the names sound male, they were probably female, as male reindeer shed antlers in the winter. The Montgomery Ward Department introduced Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer as a marketing gimmick to encourage children to buy their Christmas coloring books. The original Rudolph did not have a red nose and was almost named Reginald or Rollo. Celebrate the season this week by celebrating Holiday Spirit Week. Today, celebrate Christmas vacation by wearing your Hawaiian shirts, hula skirts, sunglasses, and more. Finally, on Friday, show us your favorite ugly sweater. Show us that holiday spirit by posting a picture on the KSB Facebook page each day under our daily holiday spirit post. Today we have an extra special spirit of the season gift for you. To all our KSB Wildcats and Wildcat athletes, enjoy the 12 days of KSB Athletics from all of your favorite coaches. On the 12th day of KSB Athletics, my coaches gave to me 12 cheerleaders cheering, 11 kids forming a dragon, 10, or one if you count like Mr. Mullins, jumping jacks, 9 wrestling wrestlers, 8 track stars running, 7 mismatched uniforms, 6 swimmer swimming, 5 broken go balls, 4 coaches yelling, 3 forensics rounds, two vans a-going, and one Mr. Bo always wanting Taco Bell. That's all for today's announcements. We have two school days until winter break. Continue to practice those paws, positive thinking, act responsibly, work hard, and show respect. 
Have a great Thursday, Wildcats.